My first NFT is available at OpenSea.io. Link is in the description. Hello guys, I got a lot of positive feedback and questions about my Halloween render. Especially about the fire and the simulation of the bullets. It's not a full tutorial. It's more of a detailed breakdown. I am gonna go through the project files and show you my settings. The render was done in Cinema 4D with Octane and the fire simulation with Embergen. If you want follow along and support my work, you can get the project files in the description. I had to remove the 3D assets which I bought and replace them with placeholders. The settings are the same, so you can get the assets and recreate the scene or build something new. At first I looked for 3D assets for my scene at CG Trader and TurboSquid. I bought the pumpkin and a 3D model pack of ammunition. Links for both assets are also in the description. I started with a small box and two light sources. The main light source comes from the top of the box to create the dramatic look and the other light source for the face of the pumpkin. Also I used a octane environment without an HDR to get the dark atmosphere. I put the 3D models of the bullets in a cloner object and used the rigid body tag for the physics. The box has a collider body tag to catch the bullets. Now run the simulation of the falling cloner objects. After all have landed in the box and were lying appropriately, I click, set initial state, in the Dynamchi's option of the rigid body tag and set the trigger to, on collision. So now the bullets are lying static and do not wiggle around. For the colliding simulation of the pumpkin with the bullets, I duplicated the pumpkin and closed his eyes and mouth to prevent any intersections. Pressed Ctrl D to get to project dynamics settings and fixed some settings and baked the whole simulation. To animate the movement of the pumpkin I used some easy keyframes and the facial expressions with pose morph. For pose morph I used the polygon mode to select the areas of the pumpkin which are animated for the smile and the eye blink. Export the pumpkin with animation to an alembic file. In Embergen I used a fire preset for the style and imported the FBX file of the pumpkin to the collider node. To get the same frame rate, change the time step to 30Hz under time control under simulation node. Change the resolution under the simulations node to 43 million voxels and a voxel size of 0.048 meter. Made some keyframes for the emitter shape to follow the pumpkin and played with some settings to get a small explosion. That took a while till it was looking good. Export the explosion as an VDB file under the volume node and export VDB. In Cinema 4D I created a VDB volume with Octane Render and imported the first file. You can click Calculate to get length and the digits automatic. That does not always work. The scale and the posture of the exported explosion was not correct. So I increased the density to see the shape of the smoke and fixed it manually by testing. To change the smoke to a fire shader set the grid mapping in the VDB settings to flames. Change the density to higher number and the volume step lenite to a very small number to increase the quality of the smoke. Set a texture emission to emission and volume gradient to emission ramp. In the volume gradient you can choose the color of your fire. Finally you need to set up an octane camera. For motion blur click enable and set the shutter to 0, 0, 025. Every moving object in scene also needs an octane object tag to activate motion blur. 
In camera imager activate the denoiser, set height light compression to 1, set hot pixel removal under 1 and activate post processing. In the render settings activate render AOV group to get the different render passes. Choose your render passes 32-bit for best quality and your file path. In the output render settings set your resolution, frame rate and frame range. Rendering took 50 hours on my GTX 1080. Import your passes to After Effects. I used the Denoised Main Render, Denoised Volume Pass, the Post Effect Pass and the Volume Mask. For the sparks I used some stock footage from VideoKoiPilot.net and placed them above the layers. With the Volume Mask you can create an easy mask for some sparks. Create some adjustment layers for color correction, optical distorion of the edges and for some other filters. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and if you would subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and thank you for watching.